Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and the Sims Free Play Movie Star Profession. This is a preview game given to us by EA with currency and VIP already added, and also with Sims already close to level six in their careers. This is not our game, it's just provided to us for the purpose of sharing with you guys a little preview of the update to come. We don't actually know when the update will be, but we hope it'll be soon. Yeah, so thanks so much to EA for letting us give you this early preview. So this is the movie studio. It's actually the same exact movie studio that has been in the game from the beginning. Well, for years anyway. We don't know what's going to happen with Sims who are already working on the old style movie career. They might have to start over, but check the video description for more details in case we get more information. So let's go and take a look at the movie studio. So this is really similar to the police profession, which was the last update. So it's the same style. You can take your sims to work. You can follow them around the movie studio. It's no longer just a place on the big map. You can go and visit everything. So we're taking a little tour now of all the cool stuff that you can get. And we'll show close-ups of it later in the video with some of the actions as well. So this works in the same way as the police career. So we have our video for that, which explains in detail how it works. But if you click on that circle at the top left of the screen, which is the clapperboard, you can see these three different tabs, and that's how you manage your sims and this career. It manages what you've got to achieve next, what you can unlock, upgrading the different types of area, managing all your resources you collect, and getting new resources by switching things out. All the resources are specific to the movie career. They're not the same as the police profession and you can't like switch and change. Currency and all of that is career specific. So just like the police career, there are three locations available for levels one to five when the career is called crew. The three locations for the crew are security booth, golf cart, and <laughs> catering area. I like those. So you start off right at the bottom in your movie career and yeah, you may just have to drive around stars in a golf cart. And we can take a look at the golf cart. Oh, this is the security booth right here. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> right at the entrance to the lot, so you get to greet every single person that comes onto the lot and check them against the register, I guess. Now over here we've got the golf cart, which is really cute. I'd love to have a golf cart we could ride around town. And this is the catering. Looks like they've got a food truck. Very modern and fancy. I've got some grills over there. And these have already been fully upgraded, is that right? Yes. Yeah. So this looks like a pretty good spread for those hungry actors and the other crew, of course. Each working area on the movie lot can be upgraded 20 levels. The upgrades give you three types of bonuses, more XP, more coins, or reduced time for tasks. You can pay for these upgrades with resources earned from helping sims or with LPs. Everything that you've seen in this video is what it looks like fully upgraded for the areas that we've unlocked so far. When a sim hits level 6, you can specialize the sim in a career. There are two possible careers, performer and director. Each career can only have one sim in it, so only two sims can be specialized. Once you have your sims specialized in the careers, you can unlock more working areas on the movie studio lot. So, for the director career, at level 6 you unlock the costume department, and then after that you unlock the hair and makeup department. At level 7. And then at level 8 you unlock the stunt set, that looks really cool, and at level 9 you unlock the director's trailer. And the performer, you can unlock another four extra things. At level six, it's the audition room. At level seven, it's the voiceover booth. At level eight, the film set. And level nine, the celebrity trailer. I'm really looking forward to those movie sets and stunt sets being unlocked. So just like the police career, you also have one shift per day, which lasts eight hours. If you have enough VIP points from buying in-app purchases, then you can have two shifts per day, but it will cost LPs to take the second shift. During your 8 hour shift you can help up to 15 sims who will appear on the lot with bubbles over their heads. The bubbles show the type of resource you will win if you help the sim, as well as how many tasks they need help with. Now to level up your characters you have to earn enough XP from helping other sims. And once you start specialising in careers, you also have to earn badges. For example if you tap on the career tab, for us, for a sim currently at level 7, they have to earn 4 badges and also all the necessary XP in order to get to the next level. 
In order to get the next badge, the sim has to get 25 ticket stubs. You can only win one badge per shift, so four badges means it will take at least four shifts to level up. That's at least four days if you're playing without VIP, and probably more because it does take a long time to get XP. And longer, the higher up your sim is. The higher the level, the more XP is needed. This is the way it works in pretty much every yeah. single game we've ever heard of. <laughs> exactly. So let's zoom out a second for the studio and see the whole thing. You can see all the bits that we have unlocked more at the front, and you can see all the dark areas, and that's what we haven't yet unlocked right at the back. We'll have another video later showing the last four work areas from levels 8 and 9 once we unlock them. We hope you found this video helpful and you're as excited as we are for this next update to Sims Freeplay. I think it's going to be really cool exploring the movie lot and getting all the upgrades to see how the movie star and director can enjoy their jobs. Yeah, they did a really great job, I think, with the visuals. It looks really realistic. Celebrity gossip and stuff <laughs> like that is kind of like my second hobby. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. We'd love to know what you think about this update, so please do share your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, also feel free to subscribe because we'll have plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching!